Hi, my name is Piotr Walczyszyn. I'm an Adobe Developer Evangelist. With this uh, quick tutorial, I would like to show you how you can create um, custom item renderers for your um, Flex mobile projects. OK, in order to do that, I prepared a, a sample application that demonstrates what, uh, what is the challenge in, in, uh, in this tutorial. So let's see here. I created this simple list of all of the Adobe Evangelists. And you can, as you can see, this doesn't look as a standard item renderer because it has like an image on the right upper corner. It has also additional components like two buttons that you can actually click and it will navigate to an Evangelist Twitter or a blog mm, website. Also, it has additional label uh, that displays the uh, the location of the evangelist, where he lives, uh, what he's uh, group in, and also his name and, and last name. All right, so let's see how it can be done. In order to do that, I created my custom uh, item renderer, uh, which extends icon item renderer that comes with the uh, Flex Mobile package. Uh, you have another option. If you don't need to display any icons or images on your item renderers, you can also extend label item renderers, which are a little bit uh, more lightweight. And they also only contain a simple label, uh, which you can also uh, extend properly. All right, so uh, let's see how the Evangelist uh, item renderer looks like. So as I said, it extends item icon item renderer. It declares at the beginning a couple of placeholders for a Twitter button, blog button, also the location display, and also a bio display. Uh, so the, the information about the evangelist. In the constructor, what I'm doing here, I'm declaring what are the uh, field names for, uh, for the name and also the message uh, field, which are the built-in uh, fields that come with item renderer. I also declare what will be the width and height of the uh, picture, uh, in this case of an evangelist. And also, I declare the icon function that returns the URL string uh, where the picture is actually located. OK, so the next function I'm overriding uh, in this custom item renderer is a set data function, uh, which is called whenever the item renderer is uh, constructed. And it passes the, the value object that has all the information about, in this case, evangelist, but basically about the data model that you are uh, trying to present. Um, in that uh, function, I have. Uh, two additional lines here. I set the text um, uh, property on the bio display and also on the location display. And I take those values from uh, value object that is passed as a parameter here. Other, other fields like label field and message field, these are the default uh, icon item renderer fields. So they don't have to be set here. This is already done by the base class. All right, so the next one is a um, function that I have to extend in this case is a create a children function. And it's, it's quite a similar to uh, mobile skins. So if you uh, watch also on ADC uh, my other tutorial about skins, uh, skinning a uh, skinable container. Uh, it's basically the same concept here. Uh, so you have, uh, you have to create your additional um, components in that uh, function. And it's called only once when the item renderer is constructed. So in this case, I'm creating a location display. And the location display uh, is of type stylable text field, which is a proper text field uh, to use in uh, item renderers. Um, so here I have this create label field function, which is like a helper function. So I can reuse it also for other uh, fields. Uh, once it's constructed, all the properties of the uh, stylable components are set. I can edit as a child uh, to my display list. Same thing I'm doing for the di bio display. Also, I create a button, uh, which basically is a standard uh, flex button component. Although I created before the, a skin class that has this nice icon either of Twitter or blog. Uh, also, I create an event uh, listener that uh, listens for a click event. And if a user clicks, it will navigate to a, open a, a, a standard uh, web browser and navigate to a URL with a Twitter account or blog. OK, so uh, next one is 
layout contents. So again, this is something similar like in mobile skins. This is the place where you want to position your uh, components. And this is the place where, uh, where I actually override also the, the default positioning that comes with the icon item renderer. And here it is. So the first one is I'm setting the uh, set element size on the icon display. So this is the actually the, the evangelist uh, image display. I set it to uh, icon width and height, which is already set in my constructor. So it's uh, basically 80 pixels. Uh, here, uh, set element position. I set the position um, to be in the up uh, right corner. So the way I calculate where's the upper right corner is I take the unscaled width of my item renderer. I subtract the icon width and I also subtract uh, uh, 10 pixels. So I have this nice 10 pixel margin. And also uh, the Y position is 10 pixel. Uh, so I have also the 10, 10 pixel margin from the top. And Similar things I follow for the next, uh, for the following components like li label display. I want it to be in the actually left uh, upper corner, so I uh, position it 10 pixels from the left and 15 like pixels from the top, and so on, so on. So I have the, all the calculations done here uh, for all of my components. Last two functions that I had to override to uh, achieve this result uh, was to uh, override the measure function where I specify the fixed width of my uh, item render to be 250 pixels. So you can see here I set the measured width and measured minimum width to 250. And same thing with height, I set it to 150 pixels. And the last thing, I didn't want to use the default uh, background, which is has some basic gradients and also like a separator line. I just wanted to have a plain, nice uh, gray background. So that's what I did. I, I used a drawing API just to draw the rectangle that scales up to the 100% of my item render. So as you can see, creating item renders is really not that difficult. And I encourage you to, to skin yours so they look differently than the standard components uh, coming with Flex. All right, so thank you very much. And if you want to learn more, go to ADC. You'll find a lot of valuable resources over there. Bye.